Good afternoon, everybody, and happy Sunday to you all. This is Wegman764 coming at you today. This is just some stuff from the card show that we um, attended yesterday in Hickory, North Carolina. We met a lot of really awesome folks. Uh, we were set up right next to a family, and uh, they had been doing this for a while. And it was kind of our first time doing the card show, so they gave us some pointers. They kind of told us some, some things to look out for and stuff like that. Um, as always, it's really nice seeing everybody and just interacting with folks, because that's really what it's all about. We didn't sell much, but we found a bunch of these penny sleeves. Uh, there was a guy selling those. I mean, it was like a dollar a pack. God bless you, buddy. We <laughs> it, you, Everybody knows, if you're opening stuff, you're going to need you're gonna need penny sleeves. So, um, finally have those, and uh, now I can start doubling up stuff, too and top loading it i feel really really professional doing that all right so let's move little weck over here so i was able to find two maximum gold oh, look at that my ring light <laughs> two maximum gold el dorado boxes that i'm probably honestly going to save for like tuesday or wednesday or thursday or friday or saturday or sunday who knows so we will open those later that's going to be later i was able to uh i was able to get this um we have a little Pokeball as well. I've always wanted to open up one of these. Um, I don't know why. I just, I really like the Pokeball, like full-size Pokeball. So we'll be opening up that at some point. Really quick, big, fat, giant shout out to the folks at Team Aftermath. Um, they gave me a sealed box of Lightning Overdrive. You gotta love those guys over there. If you are, uh, if you do not know about Team Aftermath and you are in North Carolina, or if you're all over the world, you should check out Team Aftermath. I'm gonna try to put a link and hopefully a photo of their, um, of their stuff right here. If I can't get the photo, I'm definitely gonna give you guys, like, a, uh, website, because they've got Yu-Gi-Oh!, they've got Magic, they've got Digimon, they've got all sorts of stuff that you guys would, would love if you're into, uh, non-sports cards. But I think the thing that we are diving into today is actually going to be this. Brilliant Stars Trainer Box Elite. I, I, I saw a gentleman who was walking around the show, and he had this box, and it was about halfway through the day, and I, I, I told my wife's dad, I was like, look, man, if you just want to watch the cards, I'm going to try to walk around and find a Brilliant Stars box myself, so I'm going to go ask this guy where he got it. I asked him, I'm like, you know, where'd you, where'd you get the box? And he was like, oh, uh, from Walmart. <laughs> and I sat there for a second, I was like, Okay, well, are you trying to trade it? You trying to like what you what are you what are you trying to do with it? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to like actually trade it, see see if there's some stuff we want, you know. And I was like, well, I mean, come on over. I had Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and turns out nobody was wanting any Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so that sucks. Maybe I'll do a website. Maybe I'll post them on my Instagram. I just thought selling in person would be a little bit better, but that's not what it was about. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, it was really about just getting the Weckman name out there and talking to everybody and just having a good time on a Saturday. You know what I mean? No better place to be. Well, met a lot of good folks, but especially this guy because he comes over there and he's like, "Well, I'm not really into Yu-Gi-Oh," and I was like, "Well, I got cash money. Like, what would you, what would you do for cash?" He said X Y Z amount of dollars, and I said, "Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I'm bumping my." I'm bumping my chair here. And I said, yeah, absolutely. And um, I, I went ahead and shelled out the uh, required currency for this because <laughs> I wanted it really bad. So uh, without further ado, this is going to be our first big, huge Pokemon opening. And I know I said I was going to wait to do this stuff on Mondays to do Pokemon, but uh, bigger box, first ever. We're going we're gonna to do that. I'll do the Pokeball and like some singles on Monday probably. So give me a second. We're going to pop open this bad boy. Okay, R, cool, cool. So it, so it, Whoa. oh, 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 okay, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> I can't do this like Yu-Gi-Oh, um, hold on, I can't do this like Yu-Gi-Oh, this is gonna be a little bit longer of a video, I think, wow, well, you Pokemon folks just get the, just get all the best stuff here, look at this, are these all the cards that are, like, gonna be in the set? I'm a noob. You can completely make fun of me. Oh, if there's an Entei in here, oh my gosh, please, please. Daddy needs an Entei. Uh, let's see here. What is that guy? Oh yeah, that's the um, there's Raichu. Oh dude, Raikus are are all the dogs in this? Is that what's up? Let me see Suicune. Where's Suicune at? Is she in here? Wow. Oh, of course, Arceus. That's like the big one. People are chasing Arceus in this. I mean, obviously, he's on the box, so. Uh, Flygon. like Flygon. Okay, so, I did not see a Suicune. There's maybe one. I, I don't know. Moltres? I, 
guys, I'm excited to dive into this. And you guys, I, I'll put somewhere on the screen where you guys can, um, where you guys can skip through this if you don't want to see it. Uh, but if you're like me and this is the first time you're well, if you're like a Yu-Gi-Oh guy and this is the first time you're sitting through like a Pokemon opening, you, you might you might be pretty interested in this. This is really really cool, and I'm not at all knocking Konami for not like doing this stuff. There are certain editions that you can get of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that comes with stuff like this. So it's just whatever this particular Pokemon product is, the trainer box. Ooh, yeah. So we're uh, we're trying to get that. There's a bunch. I'm just if I pull even one Charizard. If I pull even one, I think I'll be. Oh my goodness, these guys are gonna be. These guys are gonna be nice. That's the guy. That's who we want. All right, trading card game rules. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. I think you guys mostly like because if you're not playing the game, you don't care about that. And if you are playing the game, you already know the rules. So we're just gonna go ahead and. Okay, so there's a pack there. There's oh wow, are you serious? Oh, I knew that. I knew you got some sleeves with this. That's part of the reason I was so excited. That is awesome. All right, let's come through here and see what these are. Oh, these are um, these are dividers. Okay, and just because this is on its own, ta da! The first person to get it can have it. You can have that from WEC to you. Oh, you get dice? Okay. Some dice there. What the heck is that? What is that? Is that a magnet? Is that a... Acrylic V-Star marker. Marker. Um, That must be something with the game. Because uh, that I don't know what that is, but that looks really cool. And then it looks like we got some... Uh, some little, what are these? Uh, condition markers, okay. Condition markers. And we've got little dice and then a big dice. And I'm probably going to steal, you see that big dice in there? I'm going to steal that for Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I don't know what's in there. It looks like gold Ar Arceus Flakes or something. That looks, uh, that's incredible. And I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot of gaming dice, so. Okay, I think that is all that's in the uh, cool little box there. So we're going to have to keep that because we're going to put a lot of stuff. Actually, um, I'm going to keep these like sealed for now and like this. So we're going to just put all that stuff back in there for a little bit. I'll get into the uh, sleeves. All right. So that's uh, let's jump through here and see kind of what's up with this. Well, let's, let's sleeve first. Sleeve first. Sleeves first. And... Spoiler! Oh no! No, I'm sorry. It's just... <laughs> Nobody cares about the land cards. It's not a land card, Chris. Oh my gosh, do not call them land cards. <laughs> They're energy. I was going to say it's energy. Sorry. I just love that psychic little eyeball. It's so funny. Are these all... Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, how do you know I'm a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh player? So, <laughs> those are all energy cards. My apologies, guys. <laughs> Literally every single one of them. Okay, so I've got uh, I've got a pair of scissors here because I'm just not doing it today. <laughs> With the Pokemon cards, uh, they, they, they don't like to open very well. So, Brilliant Stars. Here we go, man. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. I'll give you a... No, no. Okay. I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be cutting the top of the pack probably. Woo, nice Torterra. Alright, awesome start there. I'm probably gonna edit that out. Nah, you guys can have it. You guys can actually have it. Try the we'll try the card pack trick next uh next pack there. Very good. Very nice, dude. These sleeves are icy. Love it. Okay. Bingo. See? Oh, well. There you go. That's yours. One, two, three, 
four, right? We'll see. Ooh, okay. So it looks like that was right, you know what I mean? Because that's, that's the card that comes, like, before it can be, like, a hollow. <laughs> I will get better at this, guys, I promise. I will get better at this. I've never seen that guy either before. It's been a while since I've played Pokemon in general. The games... Ooh, Chimchar, very cute. Ball toy. Okay, all right. Burmy. <laughs> what year was he? Wait, 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 what generation was that? It was, it was, no, this is, this is definitely way later. This is way, way later than Emerald. So nerve wracking having to like cut the top of the pack. <laughs> and I still didn't get it right. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> okay, all right. There you go. All right. Four back. Star me. Super awesome. Claydol, there you go. I've been seeing a lot of I've seen some ball toys there. Far fetched. Dust skull. Grimer. Hey, Torkoal, actually. Oh, hey, there we go. I have seen somebody else pull this on the Instagram page. That is nice. Look at that. And then Torkoal. I actually pulled a Torkoal the other day um, from, I think, some packs that I opened up out of the uh, out of the Risharam Charizard box. That was actually last show that I had found that at a pretty good price. Oh, my goodness, guys. I don't know anything about this guy, but he looks really cool and he looks really scary. He looks like if I saw him coming my way, I would be really terrified. Okay, so we are still looking for Charizard of some kind. I had to redo the sliding out of the pack because, um, golly, there we go. Ta-da! <laughs> I started sliding the cards out of the pack a second ago, and they were, um, and they <laughs> and they were wrong. Like I was, I was showing you guys what they were. All right, card trick. Oh, uh, oh, 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 man, oh, baby. He's not the rainbow guy, I don't think. Well, obviously not. You would know. But that that is uh that is incredible. That is incredible. Oh god, he looks so nice. Wow, let me see if I can capture his. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> man, that that is that is stunning. Would you say it's brilliant? Ha <laughs> ha stupid. That's nice. Look, we gotta, yeah, we gotta put him, we gotta put him back there, right? That's, that's, that's the man. That is the, that's the guy. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slice this open here and try not to. I think actually most of my editing for this video is just gonna be me trying to get the cards out of the pack. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, so, so that, those cards were like a real struggle to get out of that pack. They were sliding out in weird places. And um I actually kind of I actually kind of jumped the pack. I've I've seen one. There you go if you guys want that. Um I kind of I kind of jumped the pack a little bit. Like it fell out and I was trying to get everything together. And there's something in this that I don't I don't know what I don't know what it means. I, I don't I've never seen this before. I'm I don't want to do that. Okay, look. What is that? What in the world is that? So I don't know what that means or what that is. Ooh, nice, Empoleon. But, but what, what is this? What do you do with this? Did I just get accepted into a secret society of brilliant stars? What is that? 
<laughs> you if you guys if you guys know what that is, uh let me know. I feel like I just got accepted into like the order of Pokemon. Do I have like a job offer coming? That would be pretty awesome. Just kidding. All right. Uh moving on. We got the Arceus there. We got uh Empoleon and Gibble. Mr. Gibble. Who I actually think is this guy's little man. Yeah. He he evolves into that. That's pretty fun. Oh man. How many packs we got left here? This is this has been incredible. This has been incredible. If I can get this bad boy open most painless way possible. There we go. That one came out a little bit better. That one came out a little bit better. Hit him on top. Grimer again. Ooh, Clefable. Oh, nice. She is awesome. She's very pretty. Magical Shot and Moonlit Miracle. Very good. I'm trying to watch the bottom of my cards to make sure I'm not slicing the um the cards when I'm opening. That's my biggest fear. It's seriously, that's that's my biggest fear. I'm like, no, I don't I don't want to like cut the the tops of the packs because if I cut into a really expensive card, I'll never forgive myself and neither will the viewers. So, let's see if we can just try and just However long it takes, I can just edit it. There we go. There we go. We don't we don't need scissors. We don't we don't we don't need scissors. Let's try to keep the contents of the cards. Um Oh boy, guys. I don't have anything else to open. <laughs> this is, uh. Oh man. Do you see that back there? Okay. All right. Hold on. Oh man. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's just go one by one. Let's just go one by one and see what we're gonna get here because this is gonna be freaking incredible something is coming don't quote me phil collins because something's coming in the air tonight okay it's the next one it's the next one Yes! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Dude, did we just Arceus out? Oh my god! New freaking way! Oh, I got my first rainbow record! Alright, well, amazing opening. I'm seriously not sure what... Wait, somebody help me out with this. I don't know what this is. But uh, I do know what these guys are, and they're freaking amazing. All right, so, man, that is awesome. Here's just some of our best pulls of the, uh, he's really awesome, too. Some of my best pulls of the day here. Whew! Back. Oh, my gosh. Back to back. Like, well, not back to back. That's, you know, but. I was like, man, I really wanted to dive into Brilliant Stars. I'm going to be saving, um, celebrations for... Uh, at some point, I don't know, we'll be diving into this Pokeball probably on Monday. And then, you know, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to see what uh, Aftermath has in store for us with the uh, with the sealed up box and then some Maximum Gold stuff. So, you guys be good. You guys be safe. I'll try to as well. And, uh, <laughs> oh man, have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, guys. Bye-bye.